uh, I've got Jack of all trades. So what Jack of all trades does, and a lot of people don't know this, is um, it will sort of mitigate. Like if you lose your driver, you don't have uh, as much of your driver gone. So you can still drive faster than it would if, if, you drive, uh, if your driver just died without Jack of all trades. So the commander basically shares the role of a driver and, and somehow... <laughs> somehow he manages to drive the tank for you so uh what the effect the effect of this is that you don't need to repair your driver as often i don't think i explained this very well but the the russian mediums will lose their drivers very very often and uh it's sort of a waste of a med kit to just go healing your driver every every couple minutes so uh jack of all trades mitigates that obviously if you lose your commander these skills become useless and you need to uh, heal your commander again for jack of all trades to work but uh, I run Jack of all trades because I think it's good. Next is Eagle Eyes. So this is, I don't know, it's one of those things. I don't really use it too often. I actually don't think it's worth carrying. But uh, it lets you see what enemies, like what modules are damaged on the enemy vehicle. Uh, it's nice to have. Uh, situational awareness increases your view range. So you can see this tank right here has 400 meters view range or 430. And when I put food on it, uh, that'll increase significantly. It'll be like 450, which is perfect. Yeah, 450. So um that's my commander setup right here. I've got uh, what's it called? Brothers in Arms again repairs because it's a medium tank. I'm an aggressive player. Repairs lets you get your tracks up quicker. Camo it's a Russian medium, so a uh, camo is really useful end game. What you'll find is that camo you'll definitely want it on most mediums. It's really really strong if you're against one or two tanks and you can shoot at them without getting seen. Obviously, you don't risk getting snapshotted or or it, it mitigates RNG. So. I really think camo is important. You should have it on all tier 10 mediums. Uh, and, and what you're going to find is this is more useful towards the end of the game where it's you versus one or two tanks. Uh, and, and typically you can sort of abuse your camo. If you're not shooting, you can find like sometimes you're able to drive just in the open when there's like uh, 350, 400 meters between you and the enemy tank. Obviously, depending on the tank uh, you're fighting against and use your sixth sense to figure out what their view range is. But uh, I, I think camo is really, really useful, especially end game. Snapshot, I mean, it's a 62A and I just, I put snapshot here. The reality is there aren't any other really good options. Some people try to put Deadeye on this tank. Um, the reality is I don't know enough about Deadeye to justify like putting it on the tank. I think it does like 3% more chance of damaging a module or something. I read that somewhere. So to me, like 3% for an entire uh, crew slot, it's not useful. And then I've got firefighting. That's because I run this vehicle with food consistently. Uh, and firefighting is really nice to have it. You know, if you have four, if you have four crew members with firefighting, instead of taking a thousand fire damage, you can sometimes just get it down to like 300. So uh, to me, that's that's really really nice. Again, for the uh, the driver, I've got the same thing as the uh, gunner for the exact same reasons. Here, I've got smooth ride that increases your shooting on the move and uh, clutch braking, which makes your tank turn faster. All these things are useful. There aren't really any other great options. Once this gets to the fifth skill, I will be finishing off firefighting because I don't really uh, see the advantage of these ones right here. Like the 62A already has great off-road driving and uh, you shouldn't really be ramming stuff in a 62A. So uh, that's just my opinion. On the loader, there isn't really much option. Again, you can see I've got uh, BIA, safe stowage, repairs, camo. Obviously, the ca the repairs and camos I explained. Say stowage, you should pretty much have that on every single medium. Um, the Russian mediums love to get ammo racked a lot too. It's got an ammo rack right at the front of the vehicle, I believe. This is a lot stronger than the 140, but uh, again, there aren't there aren't really any great options. So, uh, in my opinion, say stowage isn't a bad idea. What I'm gonna do when this gets to the fifth skill, I'm gonna reset these and replace adrenaline rush in uh, in position for the firefighting. So I'll have firefighting at zero percent but i'll have adrenaline rush uh we'll see how that works these you know the these these other two options aren't the greatest so there's that i've got uh vents v stab and rammer and uh i go 28 20 and 3 this is the setup i ran when i was three marking it so generally you don't want more than 20 heat on russian mediums because heat is bad um and you're going to find if you're like a super unicum or anything, you're going to find you consistently run out of APCR. So sometimes you're going to have to be shooting heat regardless. But uh, I really wouldn't recommend carrying more than 20, but no less than like 13. Uh, that's just my opinion. I used to run this vehicle without HE simply because I used to uh, like shoot and miss a ton. So I would want like every single shell I could. And there is reason behind that, because if you get like a 10k damage game or something, 2 HE is going to fuck you up because 10k damage, you're going to have no ammo. Um, and if there's this one guy on 300 hit points, there's really no point. Like, 
you'd much rather be shooting APCR. So if you're like the type of player who consistently gets those absolutely great games, uh, you you definitely don't want to be carrying HE because to read like to be honest, Heat is a better uh, shell. If you're in a reset situation, you should be shooting Heat instead of HE. So uh, yeah, that's just my opinion. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you want to see more, be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button. And I hope to see you around. Later, guys. Bye-bye.